Hey guys, welcome back to my cooking channel. This is your girl Cassie and welcome back to another fun and delicious episode of Cassie's Creole in African Cuisine. So today we are making bullet, aka Haitian style um, meatballs. Okay, so we're gonna st uh, get started and today again I am not going to show my face. So I'm gonna use one pound of uh, beef that's the main um, the main ingredients that we need I mean some people use turkey but for me I prefer the uh, the beef and I'm using my gloves here because I want to be able to touch um, everything not that I, I could not touch you know everything but I'm just gonna rinse it just give it like a quick rinse here so I use this strainer so I don't lose all the meat okay and it's up to you some people don't rinse it. it it's really up to you because you know what um, the beef definitely gonna cook you know with the heat that you are about to use to cook it so it's gonna be fine and I'm gonna show you the rest of my ingredients so I have one that's one potato here so I already boiled this potato and I make that, that paste with it. I mean, it's not a paste, but you, I smash it basically. And then, so I have um, this is um, bread crumb, okay? And that's basically, um, I used that was a quarter of the cup, and then I let it sit here in water for like 30 minutes. So that's why I, so I end up with that face looking as well and then so I have like a mix of um, red peppers and uh, and green peppers and some red onions and then I have hot um, habanero pepper some cilantro here so everything is already cut finely uh, and then I'm gonna use one egg and then um, so I'm gonna use some of this because I am not gonna use any cubes. So I'm using this adobo powder for salt. And then I have my homemade spices, of course, or my Haitian spice. So I do have one of these um, on my channel, like one of the recipe of this on my channel. And then I also have um, some lime juice, some black peppers, um, of course, like I need flowers that I need to use, and then I'm gonna use some fresh garlic, and what else? And then I'm gonna use some of my herb de Provence here, because I do like um, the lavender that's in there as well. So I need a, a bit of uh, flavor. So let's get started, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and start mixing everything here in the meat. Okay, so that was the egg, and this is, and like I said, this is one potato, and it's one medium potato. So for this bread come here, I'm going to leave some out. And you see, as you can see, the paste, it's not watery, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and add all my paper, uh, peppers, I meant to say, the hot pepper here my cilantro um i'm gonna go ahead and add my spices here as well the lime juice okay and i will just add the measurement uh, for this salt here or um, you know that edible powder that i just used i'm gonna add that uh I'm gonna add it down here for for you in a minute and then this is one teaspoon of um, paprika and this is smoked paprika that I'm using and I'm gonna go ahead and use um, of course like some gar garlic here sorry <clears throat> some fresh garlic okay and that was three cloves but they, they are pretty small. They are not that big. So I'm going to go ahead and add another one here. Oh, 
Okay. And so what I'm gonna do is add some of my black pepper here. And really just a tiny bit of salt. Okay. And we'll taste it uh, because we don't wanna add like a lot. And then what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna mix everything here. So that's the reason that I actually wear the gloves here. But I mean, if you like to feel your food, there's no problem also, you know, to feel the food. But some people don't like, I guess, you know, the garlic like in their hands and or whatnot. But it's up to you. So we're gonna make sure we mix everything really well, okay? And then, once we do that, we wanna try like to taste it just, you know, a tiny bit, just to taste our salt. And I just realized I forgot to use my herb de Provence. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and use it here. Oh my gosh, the smell of it. Just some of it, okay? And make sure you have everything here. It smells so delicious. And that herb de Provence is everything, I'm telling you guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna mix everything and taste. Okay, so look how beautiful this look. So we're gonna go ahead and make our meatballs, okay? And by the way, I forgot to let you guys know like the fact that I add, you know, the bread corn and then also with the potato there, it's um, really to help hold um, the meat together. So it's up to you, this is how you do it, you know. I mean, if you like, you can use like a tablespoon and then you can just pick it up with a tablespoon. Me, I didn't, so I'm gonna do them a bit big here. And uh, so I already have the oil in here. It's warm already and it's on medium. So I have my um, stove on medium, you know, heat. And then uh, this is the meatball. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the flour. So the flour uh, idea is, again, to help hold all of them, you know, but really you don't want it to too much flour because you wanna be able to enjoy like the meat and taste everything. And now I'm just gonna add it and I'm gonna let them um, basically fry five minutes on each side. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the rest here and uh, I'm gonna fry. Oh, can I tell you guys this smells so delicious. So you see, so I'm turning them. Hold on here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, they are brown and golden here. Hold on, I have to fix the camera uh, to show you. But I literally let them fry until golden, okay? And turn them so they can be cooked uh, poorly. And um, yeah, we're gonna let the other side cook also. Okay guys, so see, this is how they look. And um, I let them cook poorly, like, really well and I'm gonna go ahead and take them out but it's well cooked and I'm gonna try in a minute so we can see how it cooked like from the inside also okay so I took everything out I just want you guys to see see this is how it looks so it's well cooked and I'm gonna taste it oh the flavor and it's soft, it's not dry, and it's cold, it's flavorful. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the sauce, right? So I'm gonna still make 
to add okay so what i'm doing i have like this um onion i'm mixing them they are cut in small little pieces it's onions and a bit of peppers and then i'm i'm adding tomato okay it's one and half like for the tomato and I'm just gonna add this pepper here. I'm not gonna open it just because it's already um it's a bit uh spicy with the one that I had on there before, like in the big balls. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some garlic, like fresh garlic. And that was parsley that I had. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and let this simmer for about uh, 15 minutes low heat because I want everything to be uh, cooked okay and we will come back uh, to check on it and this is what I'm gonna put on top of it and for salt I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of uh, a little bit of salt okay a little bit of olive oil not a whole lot tiny bit of salt and uh, gonna let it cook this is my sauce here I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit of um, cloves powder and I forgot I did not even show you guys the whole thing so I just picked like a few of the meatballs and this is our sauce it smells good so I add a little bit of more salt really and I'm using the same oil that I use uh, to fry to fry the meatballs so this is it guys so this is the sauce really okay and so all I would do is take some of it and add on top of my meatballs here and this is it okay that's it okay and I do like to thank you guys for watching today remember to subscribe and um, share with your friends and leave a comment and uh thank you for watching see you next time now where